You can hardly climb. That was a professional visit. We found the syringe. It was on the floor by Jimmy Clay's bed. There was a tiny little hole in the tube from his drip leading into his hand. If it had breached his blood, he would have died. And here's you strolling in moments before. Does the syringe have my fingerprints on? You know it doesn't. Because you were wearing latex gloves. Why was that, by the way? I visit a lot of clients in hospital. I always wear gloves. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. As I've already said, you don't even have a motive or any evidence. You know, what have you got? A syringe with no fingerprints and CCTV footage. Of what? What about the drugs planted in Dr. Clay's car? Duplicate set of keys would have done the job and your drug contacts. Butler's done you a few favours. Do you owe him? No comment. Strange place to conduct business, your club. What were you talking about? No comment. Okay, so you were at the opera on two of those nights. What about the others? Monday, I was at a dinner party at a colleague's house. That'll be easy to check because most of the guests are Law Society associates. The other two nights? Pub quiz night. I remember that because we came joint second and it was a really exciting finish. Anyone at the pub will remember. You have done all your homework, haven't you? Is that a question? What about Wednesday night? Well, if I was out committing crimes, I think I'd remember. Please answer the question. At home, alone, watching TV. No alibi, then? I did have a really long phone call that night with a relative in the States, on the landline, so it'll be on my phone bill. Owen, are you in there? Shannon? Owen, if you're there, please, mate. We've had to ring the police. Is everything all right? Uh, have, you, have you seen a young guy with a kid? Um, no, I'm, I'm just here for a home visit. Right, cheers. It's this flat here. Yeah? I'm pretty sure they're in there. Look, I know you know this already, but there's a little lad in there who'll not have a clue what's going on, so if we can just take it easy. We didn't do it. <laughs> I bet that's the best statement you've ever heard. You get on the next flight out of this country. Oh, don't worry about that, mate. We've got business to attend to. I'll keep my sword of the bargain. Now you keep yours. Dean Boyle, on a plate. You'll get your chance. Wouldn't mind a word with him myself. I reckon this bed's seen a bit of action. All the joints are loose. You need a, an Allen key. Talk them up the things that me right? Hello, boys. You haven't got an Allen key, have you? I got vibrators, dildos and cups. It's just... I really need an Allen key. What for? Well, Dave, don't worry about it. Let's... Right, yeah. No problem. Fancy a spit roast? Yeah, I do. I've only had a sandwich for me dinner. And I like cheese. But I don't like cauliflower cheese. Same with me. I like apples and I like toffee, but I don't like toffee apples. But then, I don't like actual tomatoes. But I love tomato sauce. It's just weird. Are you two gonna shut up or what? Sorry, love. <laughs> it's Dave. Cheers, mate. I don't care who it is. Just shut up and concentrate. I'm doing all the work here. Let's just get it finished. I can't finish just like that. I need some stimulation. Come on, Dave. Let's step it up again. Ow. Ow. Who are they? Owen Armstrong. We're from SRC Debt Recovery, and we're here to recover outstanding liabilities totaling £5,480. All goods to that effect. You can't just barge in here. We were invited in. What, by a kid? And as I'm sure you're aware, unless payment is received immediately, we will start removing property. I don't believe this. Just get out, will you? Are you able to make a payment? 